is breaking news on WDSU. First at six, a federal judge finds NOPD is in violation of the consent decree when it comes to the investigation of Mayor Latoya Cantrell's executive detail officer. We're talking about Officer Jeffrey Vappi there, WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sharm, live in studio with why the judge says this investigation was handled differently than others, Cassie. Well, the federal judge, Susie Morgan, she says the investigation of Officer Vappi was not conducted in the same manner as other investigations and was not conducted in accordance to NOPD policy. Now, Officer Jeffrey Vappi, he was being investigated for his time serving the mayor on and off the clock last year. NOPD stated they were in full compliance and fought in court a couple months ago against federal consent decree monitors saying this case was treated like any other. But the federal judge disagreed. She says NOPD attempted to prematurely reassign Officer Vappi to the executive protection detail before the PIB investigation was complete. And Officer Vappi was sent to work at the Orleans Parish Communications District, but no other officer officer on administrative reassignment has been sent there since 2016. At the end, the judge said that she lists multiple violations of the consent decree and some of those include failing to accurately and completely record all allegations against Officer Jeffrey Vappi, failing to give meaningful consideration to circumstantial evidence available to the PIB investigators that could have suggested to a reasonable person that Officer Vappi charged the NOPD for time not worked and failing to reasonable measures to protect the confidentiality of its investigatory materials. Now, in, in response to the federal ruling, NOPD chief Ann Kirkpatrick has sent Judge Morgan a remedial plan promising to make improvements. Agency watchdog Raphael Goenechi says this is a move in the right direction. This is, I think, another indication of the different direction that and Kirkpatrick is going to lead the police department in going forward. And quite frankly, I think that uh, this approach will result in uh, a quicker path to compliance than the previous position of the city of New Orleans to attempt to challenge and litigate their way into compliance. Now, some of those improvements include creating new policies and transparency for training and other things. And we're going to continue to follow this, Gina.